Virgil Ortiz Jr. versus McKinson. August 6th, this is going to be a big test for Virgil Ortiz Jr. because he's going to be going in there with someone who is stylistically not um not good for Virgil, but this is a test for him so he could so he can be able to find um those type of fighters that um fight at long range and move around the ring you know what i'm saying so virgil ortiz jr has test to um prove himself against mckinson the british um mckinson this fight was supposed to happen um earlier in in the year but um virgil ortiz got sick and so he um, decided to postpone the fight and then um at first they canceled the fight and then he was rumored to fight Avenician. Um, and then it, at the end, at the end, at the end, he ended up fighting, um, going back to McKinson, and uh, they ended up postponing the fight instead of canceling it at the end. So now they're going to fight on August 6th. And Virgil Ortiz Jr. has a huge test because the man, Virgil Ortiz Jr., the prospect from Prodale, Texas, its own, very own Texas. He is he is a man with 100% KO rate. He is the second fighter other than Berto BF to have a 100% knockout rate. And uh, Virgil Ortiz is a monster. This guy is a savage and a beast inside the ring. He is, Virgil Ortiz Jr. has a beautiful, beautiful jab. A strong piston of a jab. His jab is piston and has power man he has he throws that power jab like nothing it's a pretty fast power jab as well and it's powerful bro he's knocked down fools that have never been knocked down or that have never been stopped um, or never been knocked down with a jab you know with the power jab this man is this man is just too good man he is really good So the traits of Virgil Ortiz are his his beautiful piston power jab and the way he moves around the ring because um, Virgil Ortiz loves to look for angles. He loves going for those angles, those those uh, those shivets, those sh uh, the, those pivots, um, and he just loves to do those and get get you off guard with the, with some different angles, man. That's what I love about Virgil Ortiz Jr um whenever he throws shots he um he throws it he makes sure he uh he's accurate he makes sure every shot that he throws does some damage virgil ortiz jr is to be honest a big big 147 and he's one of the best Virgil Ortiz, I expect Virgil Ortiz to um, KO McKinson in the later rounds, around maybe 8th, 9th, um, because uh, it's going to take a couple rounds for Virgil Ortiz to uh, slow McKinson down with some body shots, because uh, McKinson, oh, by the way, Virgil Ortiz loves body shots. Um, it's probably the body shot, you know, you don't, he's not knocked out, but like, he can't breathe, he's just on the floor, you know, there's nothing you can do about it, so it's just, it's one of my best punches. His favorite punches, or his favorite punches are the body shots, and I love when fighters are, when fighters do that. I love when fighters, their favorite um, punches are the right in the body, bro, because 
the uh, those fighters that are that are they love <laughs> those fighters that love to go to the body are pretty much end up being future champions man the body is the key because it slows because the, once you hit him in the body it slows the opponent down and it, and then it sets up the ko along with the jab you know what i'm saying it sets up the ko along with the jab so the body work of virgil ortiz is pretty good he's really good at with the with the body work man and that's what i'm going to see what i expect to see from virgil ortiz is to go to the body slow me kissing down um from him from moving around the ring and then right there is when he's gonna look for the ko that's going to be my prediction of Virgil Ortiz Jr. versus McKinson. Tough uh, McKinson, um, he's a good fighter, man, but he's just um, there's levels, and Virgil Ortiz is going to show him why he is a future pound for pound. To be honest, he is a future pound for pound. Just he and he is so young and just getting better and better, man. Virgil Ortiz Jr., I love you, my boy, and wish you the best on your fight. We're going to be rooting for you out here, you know. Get this fucking KO and keep the streak going.